Thanks. Need help? teeth on him. That's disgusting. Yep, that's a pickle right there, a pike. First cast. <laughs> See? Look at that. Ripped his lip right off. He was flopping around. Kind of sucks. First cast, and then we missed the actual catch because we weren't ready for it. I should have had a little more patience, I guess. See him jump over there. I'll come to the surface over there, and I see a good ripple over that way. But a, we don't have a lot of time, and b, I'm a little injured right now. Let me see how close I can get to that ripple. Wow, well, I think I need to change my line. It does make a difference too. Oh, there we go. It does make a difference on what line you use, as opposed to what. Oh, come here. Come here. Don't you get off in there. Opposed to what uh, what bait you're using, looks like another another pickerel pike. I'm no expert on those. Sl slightly bigger, maybe. Nah, about the same size as that one. Oh, and he got off too. What an idiot! <clears throat> over here see that where there's nothing around it it's just a circle in the water now, correct me if I'm wrong please do I'm pretty sure that's a spot where they come and they, they swish their tails around and they, and they move everything out of the way and kind of lay there maybe to mate or I mean well maybe not quite mating but I don't know how you want to call it but and that's another fish. That's three so far. Oh, he's a small one. I think his mouth is bigger than he his food there. You want to jump off too, or you want to wait till I take it off? Oh, another one just jumped. Hold your horse. And there he goes again. <laughs> God, these guys aren't very intelligent. <laughs> well, I guess if I was caught, I'd be, uh, oh, 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 not that way, not that way. Get right over there, get back to the water. There's another one of them, too. There you go. There you go. I I'd be it. flopping around, too, trying to get off this damn hook. What is this, Stiles Pond in, what is it, St. Johnsbury? Or East St. Johnsbury? St. Johnsbury, Waterford. Waterford. Yeah. Vermont. It's a thing right on route, what is this one, 18? Apparently though, you can only fish from the shore. Uh, can't have any motor boats or anything like that. Nothing with a motor in here. It's, a, it's actually a reservoir. The whole point. Fishing. And fishing. Like any regular Joe would do. You have to grab a pole and you want to go fishing down the lake or whatever. You don't got a boat, you don't got, you know, fancy equipment. All that stuff. You know, what to use where and how.
and sometimes even why it works if I have the knowledge of it. I'm no expert myself, but the more I fish, the more I will be. So we're still at Styles Pond. I got the same bait, the same crank shot, crank crew. But we've moved further north, a little further north. Maybe a thousand yards or so to this weedy, uh, what do you call these? Weedy reeds, this area, whole area where it could be holding bass. Maybe some bigger uh, piker in here. And we're gonna use the same one for now, but then we're gonna switch off to something made better for weeds. And I'll explain that when we get there. And we'll start the same way with the fanning pattern and see what happens. And I can feel a lot of weeds in here. And crankbait is a really good one. Whether it's weedy or not weedy or, or anything like that, they tend not to get stuck so much. You know, you got your your uh, worms, you know, your plastic worms, and uh, you know your your weedless stuff. And this doesn't have the weedless thing on it, you know, the little spring-loaded thing, but it's still good for for going through weeds, finding. Them. My wife's my cameraman. Yes, and trust me, she's gorgeous. And I'm not a man. Camera woman. <laughs> Just gonna give it a medium, really. Not too fast, not too slow. Give it what's there. Give it anything there. It's raining now, so. and there's a lot of traffic. Stop me from fishing, though. It shouldn't stop you either. As long as it's not a complete and utter downpour, that would kind of suck. But you know, a light rain is kind of fun. Fish just jumped over there. Yep. All right, I'm about halfway through my. Uh, what do you call it? My fanning motion. I'm not getting anything yet. Well, I did see quite a few come to the surface along the way. We'll see what happens. I think it's for this particular area. This spinner base just uh, not right. You see that? No. Right there, that was a decent sized fish. Just took off. Hit the surface while it took off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to catch it ahead of it. See if maybe it was going that way in the hits. Never predict this way a fish goes. And there we go. Damn, he's a fighter. Right in them weeds, too. Got me stuck. Come on. Oh, I lost him to the weeds. Damn it. Well, but you see the point in that. So we got him right, right in the weeds. It was a decent sized fish, I think. It wasn't too huge, but it wasn't bad. But he's right in the weeds, right in the reeds. So this is what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't bring anything in. We got a lighter, baby. Put this guy back, which in reality I'm just going to hook it to my pants. Right, in here, we'll throw in a few minor things. Like this guy, Lizard. We're going to use him. And before we do him, we need a sinker and a hook. Okay. 
I'm going to make myself a Texas rig. Now you see how that has a hook on it right there? That's ideal for this. We're just going to leave that there for a minute. Put this guy in my pocket for a second. And we need to make a Texas rig. So up here a ways, we're going to make a nice loop. I'm going to spin it around a little bit and pull our thing through. See what that's going to do, it's going to make a nice knot right there. See? knots there, it's not going to allow this to go past. See? Oh, I didn't make it big enough. We can solve that. Let's do it again. There we go. Get a nice knot going there. Now we got a bigger knot, see? Okay. This is the basic fishing with what you got. Now that won't go through. Now we're going to put this guy on here. I like to use this knot. I'll just spin it around four or five times. And then just put it right back through the loop we made. The tighter they pull, tighter that gets. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that. I forgot my clippers, so we're just going to use this. There we go. Now we take our guy, and we're going to put it right through his head. Just about a half an inch. See? Run it right through there. So this goes down. And it covers that loop. It covers the knot and everything. See? We're just gonna put this in here so it's not all the way through. But nice and straight. See that? That's a Texas ring. Now this will slide down. And as he goes, it'll do this number. Okay? Weedless, because you got it not all the way through. You know, you might catch some weeds, but you don't really snag up too bad. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to throw it out there, and I'm going to go over here, and we just let it sink to the bottom. Tighten my line, just give it a jerk. We're basically going to jig it. See what is interesting. No harm in stopping and just letting it sit for a second. Bring it along. Wish I knew where that fish went. I put it right there. Now you guys probably can't see it, but I should see it in the water. It's making a nice action. It's gonna draw some fish. I'm gonna try this way. I felt a lot of weeds over there. We'll see what happens. Let it sink. Let it go to the bottom. Now I, I felt a lot of weeds. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a jerk. So it comes up out of the weeds so. You can see it. If I jerk it like in the weeds, they might not be able to see it. I've caught a few fish on this thing already. Not here. But it makes a nice one. And I really love it. I mean, I love a Texas rig. Very deep, so we don't want to get too much. We'll pop it out of the water. Come on, fish, don't make me look bad. My battery's going to die. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. Somebody liked it. Whoa, come on, buddy. Oh, nice jump. Ooh, don't want to lose him. Try to get him. Oh, he's a fighter. Up over these weeds so he doesn't get down into them. See, oh, he liked that. Come here, you. Oh, stop you flopping. You're going to get off with the other ones here. All right. Oh, yeah. He, he popped that guy right into his mouth there. Got a little caught here. Oh, he could eat some weeds with it. It's caught on his lip here. There it is. Now, we're going to have to take this off because we got it in there. Pull it out. There we go. That yeah, one a little bigger than the last one, but still the same kind. Let him go. Rebait our hook. Do it all over again. Uh, I keep getting stuck in these weeds, and I caught the one there. So I'm gonna try to go straight out and see how far I can throw it. Bring it back in, because I know, because I've looked before, that there's a ring of weeds that go right through there. I'm gonna see what happens. Still recording? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, we just moved down just a little bit. We were right there, and now we're here. We're just gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Some same setup. Remember, let it sink. Jig it in some. You can go faster if you really want to. You can go slow. Attention, but give time in the water. You know, more time for them to see it. I'm good. You see that in the water when I reel it? Now, I, have, I don't have a very heavy weight on this. So, you know, it sinks a little slower, and that's what you want because the tail makes a waggy motion when it goes down and it catches their attention. They think it's a real one swimming down, gets a rock, a weed, whatever. Back to this guy. Just one last, one last time before my wife gets mad at me for keeping her out in the rain. Ha uh ha. -huh. Says, Mr. Boyce, we gotta get out of here right now. I'm sick of sitting in the rain recording you do nothing. You just made me sound like a nine year old woman. <laughs> my wife's a whole lot younger than I am. <laughs> she doesn't like being called old. And of course, neither do I. But you are. But I am. I'm old. I'm 37, okay? 37. 37 years of fishing. Using I was a fishing cane. when I was born. I'll be fishing when I die. 
Gotta be one more fish in here. Get out there. Not much of a fighter, huh? Practically bringing himself in. Oh, and he's off, but that's okay, we had him. There he goes right there. Come on. A more good one to get in here. Oh, the folks. Oh, I missed him. Damn my talking. Both by all rights, I could have been just used, but I think it was a fish. I've been catching nothing but uh, pike or pickerel in here. They like to follow it right at the shore sometimes, so don't pop it out of the water too soon, or you might miss your fish. Caught some good fish, had some fun, made a few points. Hope you learned something from it. And remember, just because you don't have a fancy setup or a big bass boat, okay. So, here we have uh, my wife's going to get the car. We're about to leave us to another cast stand over by these weeds. I'll show you in a second, okay. Uh, this is where I cast right over there, and then I caught this bad boy right here. Yeah, he's not bad. That's what I caught him on. We caught the first bass of the day here. Now that guy's not very big; he's only about a pound and a half, maybe, maybe two, but I doubt it. Uh, but he's he's our first bass of this area when we be catching uh, nothing but pike all day. So I'm gonna let him go, and uh, I think I can get one more throw in before then. We'll let you know.